from the wonderful world of sports, we bring you Home Run Derby, where each week the leading home run hitters of the major leagues will compete in a home run hitting contest. You'll meet such stars as Duke Snyder, Eddie Matthews, Rocky Calavito, Ernie Banks, Mickey Mantle, Henry Aaron, Harmon Killebrew, Willie Mays, and many others. Well, hi there, everyone. I'm Mark Scott, and today on Home Run Derby, our three-time winner, Mickey Mantle, will meet one of the outstanding sluggers of the American League, Harmon Killebrew. Let's meet them, shall we? Come on in, fellas. Mickey, welcome once again. Thank you, Mark. Harmon, welcome to you for the first time to Home Run Derby. Thank you, Mark. Well, gentlemen, today you're going to go for the big money. The winner will receive $2,000. The loser, $1,000. As an added bonus, any time either one of you should hit three consecutive home runs, as Mickey did last week, you'll receive a bonus of $500. The fourth home run in a row is worth another $500. Each consecutive home run after that is worth another $1,000. Now, fellas, you'll play nine innings. You'll have three outs per inning. Any ball not hit out of the ballpark is an out. You don't have to swing at every pitch, but if the ball is in the strike zone and you don't swing at it, that also constitutes an out. Head umpire Art Passarella will call the strikes. Now, do you have any questions? No, sir. I'm happy with the way things are going. Well, I imagine you are, Mickey, having won three in a row. Harmon, do you have any questions? Uh, one thing, Mark, uh, who will hit first in this contest? As last week's winner, Mickey will be the home ball club, so he'll bat last, which means that you'll hit first. And that's just about it. Now, the pitchers are out there to throw the ball over the plate. They're batting practice pitchers, and they'll work every other inning. We're all set to go, so good luck to both of you. Good luck, Harmon. Thanks, Mick. Same to you. We'll start home run derby in just a moment. Harmon Killer Killebrew was actually very mild-mannered. His nickname referred to his awesome power and tape measure home runs. On June 3, 1967, Killebrew blasted a three-run homer into Metropolitan Stadium's upper tier in left field, splintering two seats. Those two seats were later painted orange and never sold again. Stay tuned to the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports Network. What's your favorite sports memory? Is it Reggie's three homers in game six? Or Michael's six three-pointers in game one? Or maybe it was the time you and your dad had the best seats in the house. We want to hear your favorite sports memory and maybe put it on the air. Classic Sports Network invites you to send us your favorite memory. Whether it was a moment seen around the world or one that only you know about. Write it down on a postcard, mail it in, and if we tell your story, you get star billing and a classic sports logo t-shirt. Send your favorite memory to Favorite Sports Memories, Classic Sports Network, Murray Hill Station, P.O. Box 1830, New York, New York, 10156. Because if it meant something to you, it means something to us. We now return to the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports Network. Battle up! Well, we're all set to go here, the top half of the first inning. Harmon Killebrew is stepping up to the plate. Mm. Mickey, it's uh, becoming a habit here to sit next to you. Hey! Wow. That's a strike called, and that's an out. Any ball in the strike zone, not swung at, called by the umpire, is an out. Ground ball, two away. Top of the first inning, Mickey Mantle against Harmon Killebrew. I got a feeling this is going to be a tough battle. Oops. Round ball, and that's all. And Killebrew goes down in the first inning with no runs. And the score at the end of a half inning of play, Harmon Killebrew nothing, Mickey Mantle coming up. Harmon, it was a tough uh, top half of the first inning, but there are eight more to go. Yeah, that's right, Mark. Let's I... see what Mickey does here now in the last half of the first inning. No score in the ballgame. This ballpark has been selected because it favors neither an American or a National League player. 
The fences are of equal distance with no advantage to either a right or a left-handed batter. Mickey, so far, with a bonus of $500, Harm, has won $6,500 on home run derby. That's great, isn't it? High fly ball. One out. There's one away. It's a home run or nothing here on home run derby. Ground ball, two Come out. On. Line drive, and that's Way all for out. Mickey in the first thing. And the score at the end of one inning of play is Harmon Killebrew, nothing. Mickey Mantle, nothing. Let's see now what Harm does in the top half of the second inning. No score in the ball game. High pop-up. One out in the second inning. He just barely got under that one, I'll tell you that. That ball would have been gone. High fly ball going back deep in the left field. It may go. It's going, going. It is gone over the left field wall for a home run. Harmon Killebrew gets one here and leads Mickey Mantle by a score of one to nothing. Top half of the second. He didn't get under that one. Not to satisfy you. I fly ball into left field. I believe that's going to be short. It's way back there, but it stays in the ballpark. Two out, top of the second inning. Line drive down the left field line. Maybe fair, maybe foul. It's a foul ball way down the left field Three line. Out. And that's all in the second inning. Harmon Killebrew picks up a home run and leads Mickey Mantle in the home run derby contest at the end of an inning and a half of play by a score of one to nothing. Harmon, the other boys have told me that getting that first one in home run derby is the tough one to get. You're off the hook now with that one. Well, I certainly hope so, Mark. Well, let's see what Mickey Mantle does here in the bottom half of the second inning with Harmon Killebrew out in front one to nothing here in our home run derby contest. Ground ball, one away. You might notice that Mickey is wearing gloves both on his right and his left hand. Many ball players wear gloves to get a better grip on the bat. Line drive going back deep in the left field. This could go. It is gone over the left field wall to tie it up at one to one. That was a line drive bullet. High fly ball going back deep. She's going. She's gone. She is gone over the left field wall. That's two in a row for Mickey. Another home run here could make it $500. Line drive in the left field. It's not going to carry. Two out. Two out here. The last half of the second inning. Mickey Mantle leading Harmon Killebrew two to one. Mickey's a fierce competitor. Line drive. For an out, and that's all. But Mantle picked up two home runs in the bottom half of the second inning. And at the end of two innings of play, Mickey Mantle two and Harmon Killebrew one. Mickey, you got a couple lead by a score of two to one. Well, that's better than being behind. It sure is. Let's see what Harmon can do now in the top half of the third inning. High fly ball going way back. That's She's right. going, going, and goodbye. Holy. <laughs> Holy Toledo! Man, he belted that ball. That's a tape measure variety. I think that's the longest one we've seen out here. I think so. Line one drive. Out. There's one out. High fly ball down the left field line. It's a foul ball. Two out. There's two out. I think when he hits a ball high, it travels farther than anybody I ever saw hit one. High fly ball in the left field. This could go. I don't know, though. It is. Nope. It's in the ballpark, and that's all. And the score is now all tied up at two to two. Man, oh man, killer, you really belted that ball. It's lucky on that one, I guess, Mike. They can't be lucky when you hit them that high and that far. Let's see what Mickey does here in the last half of the third inning. The score all tied up at two to two. High fly ball into center field. That's going to be in the ballpark. Wow. And there's one out here in the last half of the third inning. 
We're all tied up at two to two in our contest. Mickey Mantle against Harmon Killebrew. High fly ball down the left field line, curving. Foul! Two out. Two away in the last half of the third. Line drive going out to left. There she goes. Goodbye. And Mantle goes out in front by a home run. It's now Mickey Mantle three. Harmon Killebrew two in the last half of the third. Two out. High fly ball belted high and deep. Way back into orbit. Goodbye. That was hit a country mile. Sure was. He hit that one real good. Well, Mickey's got his second chance in this ball game for the $500 bonus for three in a row. Line drive in the left field. It's not high enough. And that's Three all. Away. But Mantle picks up two home runs here in the bottom half of the third. And the score of the ball game at the end of three innings complete, Mickey Mantle four and Harmon Killebrew two. Now let's take time out for a moment. Who hit the most home runs in the decade of the 60s? Find out the answer from Cleveland Indian slugger Albert Bell when we return to the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports Network. Golfers, here's an opportunity of a lifetime to play with the same driving iron that PGA professional Mike Smith used to drive a ball a world record 335 yards from the fairway. But that's not all. This amazing club automatically corrects hooks and slices. The controller's explosive power comes from its oversized head. Its uncanny accuracy comes from a patented curve across its hitting surface that automatically reduces the abnormal spin caused by off-center shots. Ordinary irons will hook or slice off-center shots into the rough. The controller keeps them on the fairway. No other iron can do that. Finally, I can murder the ball without losing it. What an amazing club. I've cut six strokes. We know that if you hit the controller three or four times, you'll never play with a fairway wood again. You must hit longer and straighter and cut at least five strokes instantly or your money back. Call the number on your screen now and cut five or more strokes, guaranteed. Who do you think hit the most home runs in the 1960s? Aaron? <coughs> Mays? <coughs> McCovey, <coughs> Frank Robinson, <coughs> none of them. It was Harmon Killebrew. He averaged 39 homers a year during the decade and hit a career total of 573, the most of any right-handed American leaguer ever. You're watching the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports. Back to Home Run Derby and the top of the fourth inning. High pop-up, one, one away in the fourth inning. Incidentally, the pitcher who throws the most home run balls will also receive a bonus. Ground ball, two, two outs. Harmon's strong enough to hit that ball over the right field fence if, uh, if he gets it out that way. That outside pitch. Yeah. Three outs. And that's all for Killebrew as he fouled that one off and the score of the ball game going into the bottom half of the fourth inning is Mickey Mantle four, Harmon Killebrew, two. Harmon, I think you're one of the few ball players who was ever recommended to a major league club by a senator, is that correct? Well, that's true, Mark. I was recommended by the late uh, Senator Herman Walker from Idaho. To Mr. Griffith? That's right, to the late uh, Clark Griffith, of course. Well, I'd say that he picked a good one. Thank Let's you. see what Mickey can do now in the last half of the fourth inning. Mickey Mantle leading by a score of four to two. One out. Ground ball, one out. Line drive belted high and deep to left. It is gone over the left field wall. It's a five to two ball game. Some question in my mind as to whether that one was high enough. Yeah, Mickey didn't hit that one real good, but uh, with his tremendous power, he doesn't have to hit him solid every time. Two outs. That one on the ground, there are two outs. Line drive to left, and that's all for Mantle in the fourth inning. Picked up one home run, and now at the end of four innings complete, Mickey Mantle five, Harmon Killebrew two. Mickey, that one just barely cleared the wall. I was very lucky that time, Mark. 
Well, I thought that ball was going to sink or something, but it carried out. It seemed to keep on going. Well, let's see what the killer does here in the top half of the fifth inning. Line drive. One out. There's one out. He'd like to have that one in a regular ball game, wouldn't he? Bases loaded. With the bases loaded. High fly ball belted high and deep. There she goes. So long. And it's a five to three ball game. With a home run, he closes the gap to two run lead for Mantle. Ground ball. Two outs. He's going to be tough. He's got that good swing today. He's got a See how his ball carries when he gets it up in there, really? High fly ball into straightaway center field. I believe that's going to stay in the park. And it does, and that's all. With Harmon Killebrew picking up a home run here, the top half of the fifth inning and the midway point of our contest, it's Mickey Mantle five, Harmon Killebrew three. Mantle out in front, the last half of the fifth. He's a tough man to catch. Pop up, look out. One out. One out here in the last half of the fifth. Two out. Another foul, two away. He grunted at that one. <laughs> yeah. Line drive. Well, it would go for a base hit in a ball game, but it's just a big yeah, bat out right. here. And that's all in the fifth inning of play with the score. Mickey Mantle five and Harmon Killebrew three. Well, let's see what happens now to Killer as he comes up in the top half of the sixth inning. One out. Ground ball, there's one out. Line drive to left. Two out. Two away. He's got big, strong hands, hasn't he? See how big his hands are? There she goes. Goodbye. If it's fair, it's a foul. Three out. Three out. Well, that's all. Man, oh man, that one was tagged, but doesn't count. It wasn't in fair territory. And at the end of five and a half innings of play, it's Mickey Mantle five, Harmon Killebrew three. Harm, you were leaning a little bit trying to keep that ball in. It was. I was trying to keep that one in the park. Boy, that just was really, missed. really tagged, yeah. but it was just fouled by a couple of feet. Well, let's see what Mickey does here. The last half of the sixth inning. Mantle out in front, five to three. Line drive to left field, and it is... Over for a home run. I didn't think that was going to carry. High fly ball to the straightaway center. That'll stay in the ballpark. And one there's out. one out. One away here in the last half of the sixth inning. Mickey Mantle out in front of Harmon Killebrew. Six home runs to three. There's High the fly ball. Goodbye. Way back there. And she is... Gone over the left center field wall. It's a seven to three ball game. Two home runs here in the sixth inning for Mantle. See what I mean? You don't want to get let him get too far out in front there. He's hard to catch. Tough competitor. It sure is. High pop up. Two out. Two out. So we call a major league pop up. But it's high enough. Yeah. High fly ball into center. That'll stay in the park. And Three that's out. all from Mantle in the sixth inning, but he picks up two home runs. And now at the end of six innings complete, it's Mickey Mantle seven, Harmon Killebrew three. Now let's take time out for a moment. How many appearances did Mickey Mantle make on Home Run Derby? Stay tuned for the answer on the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports Network. He's already sold over a million albums on TV, but now you can enjoy his greatest of all. It's seven-time Grammy Award winner Jimmy Stir with 36 polka hits in his brand new Super Polka Party. 36 giant Super Polka Party hits from the greatest polka band in the world. Enjoy the favorites Jimmy's played from Carnegie Hall to the Grand Old Opry. There's 
There's never been an album like this. Oh, baby, my. I get so lonely when I dream about you. Can without No one plays polkas like Jimmy Sturge. Happiness, happiness, the greatest gift that I possess. The music just keeps on coming. 36 giant hits in all. Super Polka Party. It's non-stop fun for the whole family. Super Polka Party with Jimmy Stir. It's the happiest sound you've ever heard. Just look at all these favorites. Everybody wants to Super Polka Party with Jimmy Stir. You get 36 giant hits in all. Jimmy Stir's Super Polka Party. Here's how to order. You get 36 giant polka hits. To order, call 1-800-643-1400. 1-800-643-1400. Or rush 1698 for two cassettes or one long play CD to Super Polka Party. Box 3340C, Grand Central Station, New York, New York, 10163. This is the most fun-filled polka album Jimmy Stir has ever made. So mail now or call 1-800-643-1400. Mickey Mantle made five appearances on Home Run Derby, winning four times. We now rejoin the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports Network. Back to Home Run Derby and the top of the seventh inning. Let's see what Harmon Killebrew does here in the top half of the seventh inning. High fly ball deep to left. That's good go. It is in the park. What out? I didn't quite catch that one good. I think it just didn't sound good, did it? Didn't sound good, but when it started out, I thought it could carry. Yeah, he... That one's gone. <laughs> that was... Wowee. That was really Goodbye. Good. It's a seven to four ball game. Armin Kellebrew picks up a home run here in the top half of the seventh. High fly ball into right center field. That'll two be out. two away. Seven to five now if it stays fair. She's going, going, and gone over the left field wall. It's a seven to five ball game now. Line drive to left, and that's all Three for Killebrew. Three outs here in the seventh inning, and the score at the end of six and a half innings of play is Mickey Mantle seven, Harmon Killebrew five. Well, Harm, you found the range there, had your best inning, and narrowed the gap. Well, that helps some, but I've still got a long ways to go to catch you. You're only two behind. Ground ball, went for the low ball, didn't he? He pulled that one right in the dugout. Two Ground outs. ball, two out. Three outs. Ground ball, and it's three out here in the seventh inning. One, two, three. And at the end of seven innings of play, it's Mickey Mantle seven, Harmon Killebrew five. Let's see what Harmon does here in the top half of the eighth inning. One Ground out. ball, one out. Harmon Killebrew, the killer from Washington Senators. Hey! Two outs. Harm looked back a little bit to Passarella to question that one. High fly ball way back. She's going, going, and gone over the left field wall to make it a seven to six ball game. High fly ball, this could tie it up. It's going way back, and it is up against the wall for an out. And at the end of seven and a half innings of play, Mickey Mantle seven, Harmon Killebrew six. Well, Harm, you're inching up on Mickey. Yeah, I took one good pitch that time, Mark. Uh, was it a good pitch? Well, I thought it might have been a little high, but I think it was a strike. All right. Ground ball, one out. out. Line drive, two Come out. Away. Two 
Ground fall, fouls, and that's all. For Mantle in the eighth inning and the score of the ball game, at the end of eight innings complete, Mickey Mantle, seven, Harmon Killebrew, six. Mickey, uh, the pressure's on you now if Harmon gets a couple. It sure is. Killebrew up there determined. There she goes. It's going, going, gone over the left field wall. And we're all tied up at 7-7 seven to seven here in the ninth inning. Man, he didn't take long to whack that one. Well, he probably won't take long to whack another one either. <laughs> One out. One out. It's coming right at us. <laughs> Didn't miss us by far either. No. High fly ball. Two outs. Out. High fly ball deep to left. It's going. It's going. It is gone in fair territory. A home run. And Harmon Killebrew goes out in front by a score of eight to seven. Killebrew with five home runs in the last two and two thirds innings. The killer leading by one. High fly ball deep to left center field. This is going to be two in a row. It's way out there and gone. It's a nine to seven ball game now. Killebrew with three home runs here in the ninth inning. He's come from way back. Sure did. Ground foul, three and up. that's all. But Harmon Killebrew picks up three big, important home runs in the ninth inning to come from far back, and Harmon Killebrew now leads Mickey Mantle at the end of eight and a half innings of play, nine to seven. Well, Harmon, Mickey, and I were wondering what you were thinking about up there in the ninth inning. Well, uh, I was trying to get a good pitch. That was the main thing in my mind, to wait for a good pitch to hit. Well, you got three good ones now lead yeah. by a score of nine to seven. Yeah. Mantle coming up, the last half of the ninth inning, trailing by two. High fly ball, way back, and it is... Fair! Fair! Mantle trails by one, nobody out, the last half of the ninth. High fly ball, that's gonna be foul. One out! One out, Mantle trails by one. Last half of the ninth inning, nine to eight. Ground ball, Pull two out. away. Mickey trails by one. Two out. Last half of the ninth inning. Three out. High pop up, and that's all. As Mickey Mantle gets up one home run here in the last half of the ninth inning, and Harmon Killebrew defeats Mickey Mantle by a score of 9 to 8. We'll be back in just a moment to meet our ballplayers. Which came first? Los Angeles' Wrigley Field, the site for home run derby, or Chicago's Wrigley Field, home to the Chicago Cubs? Find out the answer from Cleveland Indian slugger Albert Bell when we return to the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports Network. Classic Sports Network presents This Day in Classic Sports, January 26, 1986. Bear Bowl after this. What if you could collect life's greatest moments? If you could just hang on to them and not let any slip away? And what if every time you remembered them, they were just as vivid, just as great? On Classic Sports Network, memories don't pass you by, nor are they carted off and filed away. They're front and center, and even sideways. Classic Sports Network, the only network where once-in-a-lifetime moments happen 24 hours a day. January 26, 1986, with quarterback Jim McMahon completing passes and all-pro Richard Dent leading the defensive charge, the Chicago Bears cap off an awesome season with a 46-10 Super Bowl demolition of the New England Patriots. It's the first Super Bowl win for the Monsters of the Midway. Tune in every day for this day in Classic Sports. Can I get life insurance at my age, in my health? I'd like to leave my loved ones with a little something when I'm gone, but I'm afraid I'm too old to get life insurance. I don't want to burden my family with my final expenses. Where can I turn? 
Say, if you thought life insurance after 45 was impossible to get or impossible to afford, I've got good news for you. If you're 45 to 79, Physicians Life guarantees you up to $10,000 of life insurance designed to help pay your burial costs and other final expenses. Now, there's no medical exam and no health questions. Just call this number to get your free information kit with all the details. There's no cost or obligation of any kind you merely calling for information. This is one phone call your loved ones will be thankful for later, so call now. Call toll-free 1-800-615-9100. 1-800-615-9100. Wrigley Field in Los Angeles was the first ballpark with that name. The one in Chicago didn't get its name until a year later. LA's Wrigley was famous in its own right. Besides playing host to Home Run Derby, it was used as the backdrop for the movies It Happens Every Spring and Damn Yankees. You're watching the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports. Well, Mickey won three in a row, and it took a real top pro to beat you. Accept this check for $1,000. That's a total of $7,500 that you've won so far on Home Run Derby, and we'll look forward to seeing you back again very soon. Congratulations. Thanks. Good luck. Thanks, Mark. Good luck, Harmon. Thanks a lot, Mickey. Well, Harmon, I've got a check here for you for $2,000. To the winner belongs the spoils and our congratulations. And next week... You're going to meet a fellow with whom you tied for the 1959 Home Run Hitting Championship of the American League, a fellow by the name of Rocky Calavito. That's right, Mark, and maybe we can break that tie next week. Well, we'll see what happens. Good luck to you. Thank you. Join us at home plate again next week when Harmon Killebrew will meet Rocky Calavito in another exciting contest on Home Run Derby. Home Run Derby is produced with multiple cameras. The players' interviews being recorded simultaneously with the contest.